T-minus six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm Billy Bolt, 25 years old from Newcastle in England. I race for the Husqvarna factory racing team and I'm five times world champion. Obviously, it's always nice to win, so to wrap up the 2023 Super Enduro World Championship is, is really cool. Um, you know, I was really happy with my performance and, and how, I, how I felt and how I was riding. Um, I mean, it doesn't translate directly to hard enduro, but it's always nice to start off the season kind of being dominant and, and you know, winning like I did. So I'm super excited and super motivated to get back into the hard enduro scene and to, to, to show that I'm, uh, I can still do it. Yeah, obviously I won the Hard Enduro World title in 2021, uh, which, which was kind of the last year I, I did the full championship. It's nice, I think it seems like I've always been at the front of kind of any Hard Enduro race that I've, that I've been at in the last couple of years. So I think uh, my riding's good. I, I'm happy with where I'm at, but like I say, it is a long time since I've been, been at a Hard Enduro race. So you never, know, you never know what to expect. There's a lot of guys that are, that are pushing the level really hard and I think there's going to be some some stiff competition. Yeah, the new look for 2023 is uh, is pretty sick. I'm I'm really stoked on it. Um, very excited to ride it, and I think it's by far the best looking bike in the paddock. Uh, my favorite feature is probably kind of just the geometry and the overall feeling of the bike. I think that was. Um, one of the areas I felt I could have improved with the old model, but at the same time I was so comfortable with the old model, I was, I was always too nervous to make a change. Um, so kind of being put on the new model and, and the change already being made for us, I think was, uh, was a good thing for me. I think it was, there was a change that needed to happen and uh, I was, like I said, too nervous or a little bit scared to go away from what I was comfortable with. Uh, so to have it done for us and, and to, to get on it and already feel so confident and, and such a good response from it, uh, it brought uh, a lot of excitement to us. I think having a, having a strong team around you and that, that good atmosphere is so important. You know, our races really do test you to the limits, you know, both physically and mentally. So to, to know that your team's got your back, kind of no matter what situation you get put into, is, um, is pretty huge. The goal for this year is, is to win the title. I think once you've won the title once before, if, you, if you're going to enter a championship with anything other than, than aspirations to win, uh, then there's something wrong. To win the 2023 championship it would be would be amazing. I think the first year with a new bike would be an extra special feeling, I think specifically for the whole team rather than, than just myself. And not that the other championships weren't a team effort and by any means, but uh, you know, I think it's it's already been a lot of work from everyone to get to the point we're at now and there's gonna be a lot of work to continue throughout the season. Um, so I think you know that that first victory and, and if it's possible to win the championship is going to taste pretty sweet for everybody, you know, because it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of work this year. Yeah, I'm back. I'm, I'm healthy again, which is, which is nice. It seems like it's actually been quite a long time since I was in such a healthy position. I think even in my previous championship winning years, there was always something or I was, wasn't able to, you know, give, I wasn't coming in 100% whereas this year, I feel like I'm in a really good position to enter healthy and, and happy and excited to go. So looking forward to be back on the two stroke and getting back into a hard enduro race.